my situation. This is my GoPro. I put it in. I actually, I'm sorry, I take out the memory card for my GoPro. This is the reader. I don't plug in the GoPro usually in my computer. This is my reader. Link is below for this reader. I bought it on Amazon a while back. And you plug it in through the USB. I already renamed the files, so they're all segmented. So let me show you the screenshot of what I do to use MP4 Joiner to put these together and make just one video. So this is the executable file I'm installing for the MP4 Joiner. So what, this has MP4 Joiner and Splitter, so it does both. If you want to use them, I'm not using the split, I'm using the joiner. Anyway, that being said, and the link is below, everything is below. Uh, the, that being said, the reason that the files on the GoPro are segmented, separated, not together, is because of the fact that um, the file system for the GoPro is um, EX, uh, EXT FAT, EXT FAT system. I'm sorry, I mean EXFAT, EXFAT, that's the file system for the software. So EXFAT is limited, now these are the two icons that show up, EXFAT uh, is limited to 4 gig files, so when you do 4K or even 1080p, once it reaches 4 gigs, that's when it stops recording. Um, that's because of the size limitation. That's why it separates them. Uh, this is the latest model, the latest OS. I mean, the latest software I just downloaded. It's May of 2022. And uh, these are some of the options. So again, um, there's a limitation. NTFS has no limitation. I believe they go, I don't even know, 100 gig, no issues. But with EX, EX FAT and FAT32, there's file limit file limit limitation so it's not about the amount of time i found that when you record 4k on the gopro it, it records about eight minutes and like 26 seconds at 4k when it's a sunny day uh, because there's more recording being done because there's more to film when it's a bright day compared to a dark day or or a a uh, not so sunny day so um, that's the that's the reason that they're separated like that on the GoPro. It's the file system. There's nothing you can do about that. So um, this is the software, and I'm going to just showing you around, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to pick the file, or files, I should say. This is some files I recorded uh, for my YouTube channel, and I'm going to join them together. I believe one, two, three, four, about 11 files. And uh, they're all 4K. They're all 60 frames per second. They're all exactly the same. They all have to be the same in order for the joiner to work. You can't do 30 frames per second files and 60 frames per second files. They all have to be the same. So I'm just waiting for them to populate, to show up. And they'll show up in a second here. So again, uh, I wish that GoPro allowed, oh, here it is. GoPro allowed maybe like an NTFS so that we don't have that limitation, it's just one file. But you do run the risk of corruption. So segmenting the files or separating them makes it easier. If one of the files get corrupt, the whole file is not corrupt. Um, this is all the information that will be shown on the files. And in this case, they're all the same. 3.7 gigs inside average and um, unless they're less than eight minutes but they're all pretty much the same so I'm starting the joiner at 12 p.m. it is 12 p.m. so let's see how long the joiner actually takes and I'll probably fast forward this part but again you can get some detailed information uh, this is to remove the files I'm going to click 
join and now I have to click the output folder as to where the file is going to go so I'm gonna just rename it real quick I just did zero so that they it's the first item in the file and this is the joiner working and it does a pretty good job in joining the files I've had no issues um, you know what let's uh, fast forward this We're just going through it fast forward. Um, and it doesn't take that long. I believe that this uh, actually took me about 30 minutes so it really didn't take that long um, it should be almost done now it's getting there you can see the resolution up on top right again all 4k files so it doesn't do any encoding, any correction whatsoever. It just puts the files together. That's it. And it does it seamlessly. So I'll show you how it goes when it comes to uh, it being seamless. It does a pretty good job. You don't even notice that it happened. The file plays complete with no hiccups or, or uh, skips at all. We are almost done. Okay, great. Now it's done. So it took from 12 p.m. to 12.31 p.m. for it to completely join 11 4K files out of an average of 3.7 gigs each. This is some sub things you can do on the actual files. I'm having trouble with it. Anyway, let's see um, if there's any issues with the joining of the actual files. So let's play the output folder and see how the transition goes in regards to uh, the change of scenery. I, again, it's just after eight minutes, eight minutes and 16 seconds. Uh, it's about the amount of time that the transition goes. I'm not gonna be able to show it to you because I don't wanna show you all eight minutes, but here it comes. So this is the eight minute mark and it's going to transition over and we shouldn't see an issue whatsoever. Yeah. Yep, this should be, yep. So as you can see, I didn't even see a uh, difference in the switching over, putting the actual files together. Did a pretty good job. I like it. The MP4 joiner works really well. And um, I'm very happy to, you know, I like using it. It's free. And that's the best part. Free is always good. <laughs> All right. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.